हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्व वेरी प्लसन गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर कीपिंग फाइन डियर स्टूडेंट्स हियर आई आर वंस अगेन विथ टोटल इंग्लिश यूनिट नंबर फाइव सीक्वेंस ऑफ टेंसेस सीक्वेंस ऑफ टेंसेस मीन्स द ऑर्डर ऑफ टेंस विच वी नीड टू फॉलो सीक्वेंस ऑफ टेंस वर्ब एंड सो Today we will be discussing you, uh, discussing with you from page number seventy-seven, seventy-nine, seventy-seven, seventy-nine. So two, three pages. It is very important, and definitely your homework you will find on page number seventy-nine, which is so simple. So please pay attention. This is what we are going to do in this class right now. On page number seventy-seven, you will find. sequence of tenses sequence of tenses is the principle according to which the tense of the verb in the subordinative clause follows the tense of the verb in the principal clause so remember in your junior class especially class 8 and so on you must have already learned what is the principal clause what is a main clause or subordinative clause you have already learned that one different types of sentence simple sentence complex sentence compound sentence and how compound and complex sentences are there especially in the complex sentences one principal clause and one or two subordinative clause so what the rule is telling to us when we speak about the sequences of tense tenses it means the verb that is put in the principal clause that should be followed in the subordinative clause or the verb given the verb is that is given in the subordinative dependent clause that should agree with the verbs that is given in the principal clause that is what we are talking so accordingly there are certain rules which we need to follow uh, to do this part rule number 1 if the verb in the principal clause is in the present or future tense present or future tense verb given in the principal clause that is present uh or future tense the verb in the subordinate clause may be in any tense principal clause present tense or future the verb in the uh, subordinate clause that can be of present past or future according to the sense intended by the speaker according to the sense so that is rule number 1 so what is rule number 1 rule number 1 says that if the verb in the principal clause is given as uh present or future then the verb in the subordinate clause that can be present past or future according to the uh intention of the sentence example i think he is here i think he will be here present tense future tense i think he was here see all these things then she will think i am here she will think i shall be here she will think i was here like that see same method then rule number 2 says that if the verb in the principal clause is in the past tense see if the verb in the principal clause if it is in the past tense the verb in the subordinate clause will be in the corresponding past tense the verb in the principal clause if it is in the past tense so in the subordinate clause the verb should be in the uh, past tense form you know that it has got four division past tense four divisions which are the simple past past continuous past perfect past perfect continuous 
yes any one of these forms can be used that is what rule number 2 says the train had left before i reached the station i knew that sasha wanted to eat an apple nikhil said that he wanted money his father had died when the doctor came so once again i tell you the rule if the verb in the principal clause is in the past tense the verb in the subordinate clause will be in the corresponding past tense so accordingly example is there rule number 3 a past tense in the principal clause may be followed by simple present a past tense in the principal clause may be followed by simple present tense in the subordinate clause on certain conditions certain situations past tense in the principal clause verb that is used in the principal clause uh, can be followed by a present verb in the subordinate clause if it is a universal truth or custom or habit universal truth yes example I was told that oil is lighter than water. It is a universal truth. Which is lighter? Oil. I was told that oil is lighter than water. Then be a custom or habit. I learned that Chinese uh, ladies wear fine clothes. I learned that Chinese ladies wear fine clothes. He was glad to hear that his son goes to school in time. See, first one, principal clause, past tense, then go, son goes. So that is the thing. So what the rule says, rule number three says that if the verb in the principal clause is past tense, the subordinate clause verb can be of Mm. present tense on two situations if it is a universal truth and if it is a custom or habit in this situation you can use that one rule number four says that even if there is a past tense in the principal clause it may be followed by any tense required by the sense of the subordinate clause when the subordinate clause is introduced by than. So the word than is very important. What the rule is saying? If, even if there is a past tense in the principal clause, it may be followed by any, by any tense required by the sense in the subordinate clause. When the subordinate clause is introduced, example, he liked you better than he likes me. He likes me better than he liked me. He likes you better than he liked me. He has liked you better than he liked me. He will like you better than he has liked me. So any form that you can use. On page, on next one, next page, page number 78, if the comparison is yes plus, comparison is yes plus by as well as, instead of than the, the same rule holds good that means the same rule is applicable any tense may be followed by any tense depending on the sense intended by the speaker for example they liked me as well as they liked they like him they like me as well as they liked him they will like me as well as they liked him. Then rule number five, when the subordinate clause is introduced by a conjunction, subordinate clause again remember connected by subordinating conjunction, subordinate or purpose such as that or less the following rules are observed. A. If the verb in the principal clause is in the past tense, if the verb is principal clause in the past tense, the verb in subordinate clause is expressed by might or past tense, might, may might. Example, I worked hard that I might win the prize. I work hard that 
hard that I might win the prize. I was working hard that I might win the prize. I had been working hard that I might win the prize. So might is used there. Yes. Rule number five B. Let us see. There is nothing to buy for all these things, dear students. Uh, read and get familiarized with the sentences that is used by great people. Yes. B five. B rule number five. B that is on page number seventy eight. On page number seventy eight. B. If the verb in the principal clause is in the present or future tense, present or future tense, then the verb in the subordinate clause is expressed by may present tense. Once again, if the verb in the principal clause in the present or future verb, present or future, the verb in the subordinate clause may be expressed by may present tense. I work hard that I may win the prize. I have worked hard that I may win the prize. I am working hard that I may win the prize. I have been working hard that I may win the prize. I will work hard that I may win the prize. I will have worked hard that I may win the prize. Yes, I will be working hard that I may win the prize. I will have been working hard that I may win the prize. So any form you can use this one. And C rule number five C that is if the conjunction introducing the subordinate clause is less, almost other than otherwise that means the verb in the subordinate clause has should irrespective of the tense of the verb in the principal clause. See he is careful less he should fall otherwise. He is careful that he may not fall. He will be careful lest he should fall. He will be careful that he may not fall. He has. He was careful lest he should fall. He was careful that he might fall. So lest is the expression very often for the board exam that it is asked lest. So otherwise that is the meaning. Or so dear students, we are completed page number. 77 and 78 these are some of the rules especially related to the sequence of um, tenses that is used in the principal clause and the subordinate clause the pattern that you have learned now we are on page number 79 20 exercises are given there of this 20 one or two or three four i will just give and rest you how to do by yourself and take a snap and forward to me i will be dictating the answers of all this one and the previous uh, model paper number four shortly my must probably by today or tomorrow see fill in on page number 79 is given fill in the blanks with the correct tense of the verbs given in the brackets roger studied hard so that he Succeed. He may succeed. Yes, Roger studied. Uh, Roger studied hard so that he may succeed. Or oh, he so that uh, he succeed. Uh, then second, the judge declared that the thief was guilty. Was before the teacher explained that the sun rises in the east. Uh, then I waited for him until he came. So it is so Newton discovered that the force of gravity made the apple fall. So it will go like that. So uh, Newton discovered that the force of gravity makes the apple fall. Makes the apple fall right? because that is a universal truth. So not made makes the uh, and makes the answer. So it will go like that way. So please do complete and. If uh, get back to me. I will be coming uh, and discussing uh, tomorrow in our next day class about uh, storytelling, kahani likna, kahani bolna, you know, you are like all those things very much. Yes, and we will be discussing those things in our next day class from page number 80 to most probably page number 
AG6 that will be our next class until then you take care uh, so please uh, do sit at home hope you have received your uh, timetable or shortly within one or two days it will be done and you will be getting all right you take care thank you